a very wet Saturday afternoon, about 40 or 50 of us came together as usual, calling for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. The news from the International Court of Justice condemning any acts of genocide was encouraging, but countered by our own government withdrawing humanitarian aid through the UNRWA. This week, Fiona Graham of the Orkney News put out some flags with the names of 13 people who had been killed in Gaza. Of course, this is only a tiny fraction of the 24,000 or so that have been killed so far. It is important to remember that these are real people with families and friends, and each one represents a tragedy for those near them. to say it's just it's awful what's happening and, and I wish uh, you know I, I just all my my thoughts are with with you and I'm hoping that that uh, you know things will change I would love the government here to get a whole lot of citizens uh, notice that they are supporting an unjust war. Ceasefire is actually um, the word, and the thing is to not deliver weapons. Full stop. What would you like to say to the Palestinians and to the people who Well, we bless them in their resilience and stand strong. That's what I'm saying. And that's I'm saying every day. It's hard. Hello to the people of Gaza. I just want you to know that I support you. And my heart is with you. And everybody here supports you. And we'll keep coming here every week until we get a permanent ceasefire. So I'm Graham Martin and uh, I've been joining the vigils because I'm horrified to see the, the suffering that is being uh, perpetuated. Um, whatever the rights and wrongs of Israel defending itself, it's going far beyond anything that can be called defense. And uh, the fact that they seem almost intent and even to be admitting that the long-term plan is to drive the Gazans out of Gaza is nothing short of a, a crime against humanity and it's something that needs to be sued through the international criminal courts. So um, I think it's, uh, I think that they're using a lot of the goodwill that they, the, that they might have had. Uh, I think they've just completely run out of it. I think it's important that the, the Israeli government realizes that as soon as possible.